Hello and welcome to episode 94 of our Midlands map. Or is it 95? I think it's 94. Goodness me, how can I forget that? Because there's a lot of them, that's how. We are at Birmingham New Street at our request stop today by Electro Halo 8. I do like it here. I've added a giant office building just to break it up a bit. If you can see it there in the top right. Alright, look at all the trains. Look at them all. It's, it's never ever going to be quiet here, is it? There's our new uh, Arriva Trains or Transport for Wales train, which is going to be heading off to Birmingham International. There we go. I still haven't updated the signals, I've just noticed. We'll get those all LED-ified very shortly. What are we doing today? We've, we've got a busy one. It's, it's Junctionsville today. Because, as we'll remember, our cross-country service had a bit of a hiccup. As in, it could only terminate at Derby and not head all the way to Nottingham. I would like to change that today. There goes our, uh, what are they, cross-city line trains. Yes, they're the orange ones. We've got a steam train that's been sat there waiting for quite a while. I mean, that's kind of good. It is an express service and they tend to linger around the station quite a bit longer than the... Uh, the little commuter trains so we get to represent that quite well I might need to look at it though because it's been there an awfully long time so yes what are we getting in we're going to get, at least get in Trent East Junction which will give us a connection from Derby to Nottingham and it gets us back on to the main line uh, we'll probably head up to Tottenham Sidings not sure if it's pronounced that way but yes, we're not going to do that today. We might make a little start on it. What I would like to do is at least get the junction working around that area, including the flyover that we've got. There he goes. He didn't have to wait forever, did he? No, that kind of works for me. So our, our long distance trains, such as the one just leaving now, we'll, we'll get to wait a little longer than our, our frequent frequent uh, stopping services I like that the commuter services are always nipping in and out between the expresses as they take the expresses take a bit longer to load don't they in real life and they have a bit more of a gap a bit more leeway on their stops which makes sense because anything could happen in between it's busy it's super busy Birmingham New Street is never going to fail to uh to give us a nice a display of trains. Should we get on with it? We've got a, we've got a busy one. Um, I would like to, I, I believe, one of these might be the cross-country service. It'll be over on the far platforms. Uh, this is the other. It might be that one, actually, that's just coming in on the far side. Anywho, yes, that's Birmingham New Street. Shall we zoom out? Our bench has gone, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> yes, it was It was here. It's been built on. So no, no longer do we have a bench. It's a bit laggy around New Street. It matters not. Do we like the new office building? It's lovely, isn't it? It's starting to... Uh, I don't know what this chimney is. But I, I put that in myself. It won't be there for much longer, I don't think. <laughs> we do have trucks delivering fuel around here as occasionally if we head over this way miles over this way it does it's actually a long way isn't it we have a we have a freight train that pulls into here and drops off a ton of fuel which is then picked up here it's not very frequent it's a long old journey that it's traveling however we need to make some room for, for other freight trains that we're going to bring in eventually it's going to be quite busy around here Especially with uh, freight trucks and stuff. That's another thing. Let's bring up the UI. That's another thing we need to do. Not there. No one cares about that when you're playing with no cost mod on. Uh, what we need to do is take a look at these. We've, we've got some more trucks to replace. I think it's only trucks. We've got the... Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe we should update the uh, tram while we're here. 
Let's, let's head over to Birmingham International. Uh, I think our trams are a bit on the old side. Yes, you are. We've got new ones now, don't we? Replacement vehicles. Yes, we do. We can have these. Perfect. And I think it colours them too. Replace now. There you go. And they sound more like trams in the UK as well. Love it. We've got an old bus there as well. Oh, I kind of like these for coaches though at the moment. We do need some new ones and some newer ones do unlock. Yeah, fancy car there. Look at that. Someone's been splashing the cash. What is that car? I have no idea. Roy, Rory R Wilson. Uh, send, in a, send in a postcard, Rory, with what car you've got. <laughs> We've got a supermarket that sprouted up here. Another little shop. This is kind of nice. I did leave some room for them. I didn't block them off. And and they're far enough away from our little factory buildings here to uh, make sense. And we have a little driveway. I like that. That's amazing. Oh, this is why I love that. I'm not sure about this up here, though. This is why I love uh, playing with the AI loose and free. They're, they're, they can do what they like. And they, they sometimes surprise me like that. Anywho. Well, look at look at that. We've already got a couple of people waiting at uh, Burton-upon-Trent. It's it's still got some work that needs doing. I don't know whether I'll let them build there. Not yet, anyway. It, it's, getting, it's getting quite busy already. I like it. There we go. Wellington, no one's going to stop there just yet. Does our train actually stop at those? I can't remember. This is the one we're going to be uh, working on. Do you stop at Wellington? You do not stop at any of these. I'm not... I'll have to find out what train stops here. So yes, no one's going to get on those because no one stops there. We don't have a service yet. Yet, we will do. We need to finish this service first, which is going to be heading this way after uh, after Derby and then heading all the way up to Nottingham. Now, we don't have much room before Attenborough here. What that means is we're going to have to be quite clever with our junctioning because uh, we don't have much room so we're probably going to have it much closer to the actual junction itself uh, not the not the actual junction the actual uh, corner as we ha we have to get across here and across there so both ways and then we're heading up this way and we've got to then head up that way at the same time and this one is going to head across yeah nothing Nothing uh, too difficult, hey guys? All right, let's get some uh, bulldozing underway. We're going to have to make some room. We're probably going to head this way. I know they just they just got their uh, their city sorted on their town suburb, but we're gonna yeah we're gonna have to pause it. Where are we heading? We're going to be heading up this way. The first one we should concentrate on getting in, which is rather important, is uh, Trent East Junction. I don't know why I actually deleted this because it needs to be in. We could do with some uh, some track in here anyway. Selected. There we go. We'll go with 125 mile an hour track. We'll uh, we'll scoot in like that. That should do us. And we'll have to go across rather rapidly. So what we'll have is a junction crossover here. It's not going to be quick for us because we'll we'll run out of room really, really quickly. Like super quick, if we're not careful. Now we need to get one into here. All sorts of scary at the moment. As, as long as we get it about right, the actual crossovers themselves, and we can have them be able to switch tracks just fine. Uh, I think we'll be okay. As you can see, we're already getting close to uh, Attenborough. I was going to call it Beeston. I keep going to say Beeston. It's obviously not. Now, we've got these in. This is fine. We're, we're then scooting back up around here. We're going to have to do it much sharper than it is in real life. That's uh, what you get when you're doing recreations at one-fifth scale. It, it's going to be tricky. I don't know whether we can do it just yet. Hopefully we can. This one continues... So hopefully we can get that in. There we go. That's fine. Brilliant. We do have three tracks. This one continuing on. We do have a crossover here. We might have to do that a little bit later. 
Now we also need to get over here. So, yeah. Now we're, we're running into a few problems already. Well, this is going to be tricky. Not that it's a tricky junction. More that it's... Uh, we're going to have to knock all these back, aren't we? More that it's a, a tricky... Tricky junction in this amount of space. So, what we could maybe do is have this one come in back here to get that one working. Is that about the same? No, you're good, you're good. Then get it going across there. This is going to have to go more like that. We do have the crossover here. We're going to have to have another one coming across like that before it branches off. So we're not going to have much space at all, are we? Well, there we go. We got it in. Can we get it at 30 would be nice. Then we're going to have to be really, really sharp around there. Oh, goodness me. This bit doesn't really matter. We can cross back over here. We do that at about 40. Are we good? I think that about covers it, doesn't it? I think we can get to everywhere from everything. Yes. We have the other crossover right. Well, we've got to go straight first. Don't forget that bit. So this bit's going to be coming around as sharp as possible, I think. Given what we've got. Okay, so we'll knock that back. I knew this one would, would be a bit of an issue for us. Just because of how it is. You know, if we can get it in, it'll be nice. I would like to. I would really like to. There is another one here. Can we get it in? It's a bit tight. Yes. All right. This one's going to go up there. There is a crossover here. Interestingly. I don't know why. Would that be heading back the other way, perhaps? Yeah, and that might be coming across this way it's a, it's an interesting one i don't know what all this mess is for <laughs> it gives you lots of options though doesn't it i don't think i missed anything we've got they're just in slightly the wrong place so it makes it really difficult to try and figure out which bits we do and don't have this bit's in okay okay now are we going to be able to get across here i absolutely hope so i mean it won't be the end of the world no, it will be. We have to get it in. This this track here, I've, there's a lot of crossings. So we're keeping that flat. Level crossings, which we don't normally get in. This one is heading up, and it's going to keep heading up at whatever angle that is. So hopefully, we get enough height and go over. I think we should be okay. There we go. It's only a short little section like that. So what we can do, hopefully... Is, is do a little yes that's what i put in you see i put it in <laughs> that's what we'll do there we go guys we've got a bridge page up get it right there perfect and legit that is exactly how that looks okay don't do that don't do that get rid of it now what we've got is a small uh, bridge here it's heading over that way and it's there's another place coming over this way we'll probably have to get rid of the signals anyway so let's get rid of those We've got another junction coming up here to meet it. Everything's a little condensed. And then we've got one raised up heading that way. And then we've got this one at ground level heading that way. And then we've got the monstrous Totten sidings, which is sort of looking like it could go around about here. I don't mind that, actually. It, it's sort of the place, isn't it, for it? Now, let's let's see if we can get this track going across the top would be lovely one two three all right well if it just goes straight in i wouldn't mind that's about as low as we're gonna get isn't it it's about the right height we can uh we can knock that back a touch all right i'm a little hopeful now what sort of bridge is it it's kind of a big old cast irony nice looking thing with an arch but we can't make those so i'm not sure uh the options we have available, I don't like this. This scares me a lot. That scares me an awful lot, in fact. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be sensible and save it now. All right, now that we're saved, let's give this a go and see what those two are. How, mu how much are we betting it's going to crash? I think it might crash. I don't know what they are. No, they, uh, they are not crashing. Okay, they look kind of cool. All right, they're not what we need. So they don't crash. Good news. I like that. 
How are we going to get this arch thing? It would it'd be more like that, if anything, but with solid sides. We just don't have anything with solid sides. We could go with something like that. It would sort of work. It's similar shape to it. Even if we built it uh, manually, we couldn't really get it how we wanted it. So, you know what? We're going with this one. And that'll be the inside track. And what we can do is we can take this all the way back and make it a little bit more fluid from this point. Get a gentle gradient going up. That is beautiful. I don't mind it slowing down. It's for freight. Gives us a little bit more room for scenery as well. I think we're in, guys. I think we're in. We do actually have like a, a bridge here and then some houses down this side at pretty much track level or close enough. Whether we can encourage them to do that. All right, now we've got official episode. Or we just put some trees and bushes down there. We shall see. It would be nice to get some of the... It's super official, isn't it? Some of the uh, other things around here. Like the lakes. A... We could get like all the lakes in here, or a few at least. I think they're lakes. I don't know. We can get them in. Okay. But do you know what, guys? It's... It's not too bad. We can put the concrete sides on. I'm not going to go too overboard on the detailing just yet because we need to uh, we need to keep going. And yes, we probably do need to slowly head down. Well, not yet. Not yet. Something I'd like to do first is make sure we can get across here because this one needs to make some road bridges. This one is obviously flat. We're a bit closer than we should be. And this one here has to... That's to head up and meet it. That should be entertaining. Now, for anybody that knows this area, train drivers or passengers, people uh, local, this is not how close this junction is to Attenborough. And we've got to try and get all the way across and up, which is going to be a bit of a task. We might have to, we might have to swing this angle back a bit. That doesn't leave as much room. One option is to... Budge Attenborough up a bit. That might be tempting at the moment because that doesn't leave as much room at all, does it? Uh, I should have, really, before I deleted that, figured out what all the settings were for Attenborough. You muppet. Oh, good job, you. you you're, you're a star. Well, can where's the undo button? That's what I need right now. An undo button. I don't think it was very complicated. We'll get it in there. It'll be fine. It, I was obviously a track either side. I don't think it had any station building. It was pretty much like that one, but shorter. And we might go a little bit shorter, actually. 140. It was probably about that. Change the platform height. And uh, no roof. How quickly can we do this? No building. Both sides surface. Yes. But none for that one. None for that one. There we go. We'll just plonk you back in there and and forget to put on high speed tracks that's fine now you've got your high speed track is that Attenborough again? it is lovely, there is a crossing as well we've got to get in which is why I'm trying to do all of this it's going to be all sorts of awkward we're going to have to go even closer to Beeston at this rate but we can't shove Beeston up any further because we've got that junction goodness me it's going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Can we get the uh, level crossing in? I think it's after Beeston. I'm going to double check. All right, so yes, this side of Attenborough is a level crossing. So we need to do that somehow. Can we get it in? Not that close. Can we get it in? That You can't do it there. Can you get it in there? We can get it in there. There we go. Get you in there and there. Then we have the level crossing in. Then we know roughly how much room we've got. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot at all. We're going to have to come right up here. Oh, this isn't going to leave us any room, is it? Goodness me, how is this going to be possible? And we've got to head up too, so yes. Wish me luck. I mean, the only thing I can think of is we're going to have to come in much sooner for this. Like that. And, and just straight up improvise. It's all I can think of, guys. Now, if we do something like this, we're going to have to miss. We're going to have to miss a crossover unless we can get one in 
after that. Actually, no, that should work for us, right? Yeah, no, that should work for us. As long as we can start heading up now. Ooh, it's, it's tight, isn't it? We, have, we do have to make this other track. And, dear, it's a, it's a mess. It's not really how I want it, but it, it's sort of working. We're heading up. We're definitely heading up. Okay. This could be acceptable. I think we'll get the essence by the time we're done. Absolutely. Now, there's Long Eaton. Now, we need a straight connection onto there. And I don't know how to do this, guys. I really don't, because... Ideally, we want to be heading straight into here and having a bit of a gap. I don't know whether we should just go down a touch with this. Just a little bit and then flatten straight back out. So we'll go down like that and then straighten out so that we can get our junction in. Is that going to be too tight for us? No one knows. We'll find out shortly. It's a bit much, isn't it? It's a bit much, but not by much. Well... I mean, all right, maybe, maybe if we head back a little further, see, we can make the, we can make the rest of it, I think, all right, okay, it's, it's a bit aggressive, but it's not too bad, so if we do this here, and here, will that work, it's, it's super tight, isn't it, but it might work, Except for that bit, I bet. Yeah, everything but this bit. No, get in. Get in. Oh, please be beautiful. Oh, you're amazing. You're not too bad at all, are you? I am surprised we got that in, guys. It's in. We got it in. Scary. Don't know how. Bit of cheating involved. In. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bit close to the other one. I don't mind it, though. All right, I'll take that. We've got, we got the junction sort of working. How's it look down here now? Not bad. It's, it's sort of beautiful, isn't it? We've made a beautiful, beautiful junction. And I would say everything kind of works there because we've got the crossover here as well. I know we're like literally sat on top of Attenborough Station. I think I called it Beeston a minute ago, but, uh, but yeah, no, I, we're, we're, we're here. We're in. Things have been done, guys. Things have been done. We're going to head over this way and just let them build up. And hopefully, they might actually build there. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Send that out. I don't know where this actually goes. Uh, this would be a silly thing to do. However, this would be a cool thing to do. Not with that road, though. Go on, you can find a place. Get in there. That would be cool. Now, can we have a little... Uh, little station road just here again yeah, don't know how it goes we're just going to get them building because they've got a proper little connection now and a level crossing oh i wish you had arms and gates you're almost perfect and yes it was pointed out in the comments that i do get a little bit excited for level crossing <laughs> i get a little bit excited for anything that looks british and reminds me of uh, when i used to live there okay are we happy with our junctions, even if they're all a bit squished together? We, we, we're we about everywhere, right? Yes, we are. Now, how would this monstrosity work? I have no idea. It's possible that this is one way. Possible. That, that could be a thing. That's almost certainly one way, for us anyway. This is as well. Are we close to the other junction? Yeah, we should be okay. Uh, what about coming the other way, though? This would be one way as well, wouldn't it? The idea I like here is we don't have one on the fast or the main line and keep that junction entirely clear, which means once we pass, once our fast trains pass this signal here, down here, we enter this whole thing and it's ours. Now, for trains that pass this signal, which will be our cross-country service, they have another signal here before they get onto uh, the main line. So it will release these. However, 
if uh, if one of the cross country trains does pass here, our fast trains are going to be stuck back there. I think more times often than not, it's going to work in our favour, and our our high speed trains will get priority, just for the speed they're running at as well. Okay, okay, I think we can do this. We're going to need a signal right here. That's just fits. Goodness me, it's light central. Perfect. Right, the other one we're going to have. Somewhere like that. That'll work for us. And then we can have one there and one here. The other one would be there. That's our trio of signals for a junction. Uh, we have signaling here. We don't have any block signaling. We could maybe have one there and one there. Perfecto. Now, coming this way, we'd want something similar, right? Just there. That's our trio of signals, sort of. No, that wouldn't work with a trio, would it? Or well, yes, it does. Look, we've got one there, one there, one there. Quad. But it's a bigger junction. It's not just three tracks. You know what, guys? I will take that. I don't mind that at all. We'll have a short signal. We'll have a clearing signal from the station. But I might actually put it a bit further away. There we go. I'm a little bit worried about the back end of our long trains going over this but it shouldn't matter looking at how the track works we should be okay he says guys we got it in does it bode well for totten i don't know can i change the angles of these slightly if need be i will get them about the right angle we've got another these two actually join eventually but what i wanted to do was represent the the uh, rail bridge over the roads and then you've got the level crossing as well because that would look kind of pretty awesome around this area i'm looking forward to that this what i feel like this section being at the moment is just the bushes and trees and not the houses or the other things just because it might become a little bit difficult to achieve I'm not saying i'm giving up just yet we are going to put these in like that. Just so it doesn't look plain. There we go. We can give it a bit of texture, can't we? I like it, guys. I like it. Right. I mean, it'll look like trees in people's back gardens anyway. Just about all you could see. There we go. Beautiful. I like you. I like our new junction. I almost feel like we can fit a signal up there. We've got the distance for it. Probably some somewhere like that. Because our cross-country trains are going to need to get back over. But I don't know which one they would use. It would have to be that one for us. And then they would head off that way. Around there. That sort of works, doesn't it? We've got signals here. We, we do have this all signalled up. That's beautiful. We're going to need some sort of releasing signal. We have one. Alright guys, we're in. We are in. It's beautiful. Uh, we've got little lakes and stuff around, or ponds. I can't remember what's in the middle of here. I do feel like it's it's trees and bushes again. And gi given the size of our map, I don't think we're going to get any uh, major detailing in here anyway. So shall we? Shall we do the same here and, and give it a bit of a finished touch? Just so when uh, we take our inevitable cab rides at the end, it looks marvellous or better. Say better, not marvellous. Acceptable. <laughs> We're going down. <laughs> Alright, then we can put some trees in there. Tree liney stuff. It's fine, isn't it? It's lovely. I like it. It doesn't have to be super dense. Um, although it is. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to take shape. We've got our uh, power station over there. That was worth doing. See that everywhere, don't we? Here's our bridge. It's not quite finished. We need to uh, we need to add some concrete blocks either side here. That's what they have going at that angle. Alrighty, all saved and had a quick look at the map for this area. There is supposed to be an industrial estate in here. It's much bigger, and there is a, a, a another level crossing there. I sort of want this in. It's not there. It <laughs> it's before this. And goes back to two tracks. But we don't have the room. But we could possibly head under here. 
and go that way with this road. There, there's a bit of room there. Even if we have to dip down a little bit, we might be able to do it. It'd be risky. But I think it's doable. Should we give it a go? Because it's it's there. It's absolutely there. What we could do is maybe a road like that. Make it go smaller. Possibly. Uh, we, well, I don't know. We'll try. We'll try. It, I think we're cutting it a bit fine. But like I said, we could maybe... How, how much higher do we do? No, we've got the clearance. Okay. We have the clearance. This is good news. If we can make this work, it'll be great. As it will be a little more representative of that little triangle. Which is actually, in real life, a giant triangle. Possibly more acceptable. Because we can have this road run parallel. Hopefully. And that would make more sense. As this is going to be crossing over that track. At some point. Now, if we've got that in there, will that work for us? It almost does, doesn't it? It almost does. Can we do our little trick? Will that be enough? I mean, I'd rather not have to make the road dip down. It looks like it's got plenty of clearance. So if we can... Oh, get in. You're beautiful. And if we do it as a... As one of these... Or even one of those. One of those is nice. That's a bit low. Maybe one of those is better. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like a low bridge, don't you? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if uh, any vehicles lose the top of their uh, cab or whatever going through there. All right. I am surprised about that, but it's in. And it's probably more representative about what's going on there. They've probably only got enough room to build, like, houses along here. Maybe here as well, which would sort of work, given what's going on there. Do we like it? I think it's okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get a bit of detailing in before we extend this cross-country line. What we can do now is, is play it and let them build up. Which means, while we're doing this fancies, or these fancies... We'll get uh, some train action underway, hopefully, at some point. I mean, really, we have everything in, right? Shall we? I'll tell you what. We'll uh, extend the, the cross-country service all the way back here to Nottingham. We're going to have another one that goes to Cardiff. And that will be stopping at a few more places. I don't know whether we're we'll putting it in yet. I'm sort of tempted to give this one. It sometimes does stop. At, I'm not sure I like you doing... Is that right? No, you, you shouldn't really be doing that, should you? I will finish this sentence at some point. I would prefer you to go there, but I'm not entirely sure now. We could have a waypoint. We could maybe have a waypoint. It Does it... Would it go that way? Because this looks a bit excessive. It looks like the perfect opportunity to swing around there. Uh, which would mean a signal a bit. We could have a short signal, right? In fact, what is that all about then? Ah, uh, I'm. I have an idea. We have the uh, the massive the massive uh, Bombardier works, don't we? Just here, so I might be crossing over for that. You know what? Let's put a short si signal in for now. We'll figure it out later, because we could we could kind of stop here. They're short trains. That way, after Derby, we don't want to do it yet, do we? Because after Derby, we want to be going up this way. But yes, all the way to all the way to Nottingham. It does occasionally stop at Beeston, but we're going to have our Cardiff train do that. It's going to be all the stops, and this is going to be a little more shuttly. Okay, we're in, sort of. It's going to be a mess, and we're going to have to do some shenanigans to get this to work. But then we're heading back in there. I love it so far, guys. It's sort of working, isn't it? Apart from that bit. It more than likely does go round that way, though. And could it possibly head this way in? I wouldn't mind it heading this way in. Because we could sort of have a signal there. I'm going to keep it two-way. Because I'm not sure what we're doing with it. But so, after Nottingham, 
one of the stops needs to go via there. That looks tidier to me than what would happen. That does look a little better for me, and we, we, we do avoid this other one. Remember, this train is going to be heading on and continuing up. But us and this cross-country service, it's actually... This makes no sense. Yeah, that's three and four. That does make sense. It is three and four. But is it three and... That Would it alternate? Possibly. What do we do? We do three, and then we do four. That sort of works for me. Does it work for you guys? I like that. No, I do like that. I like this. This seems better to me. I feel like uh, this train could do the same thing. Very much so. Because it depends. I'm going to have to double check which platforms that one uses. Oh, no. See, the issue we have, again, is that this one goes straight through. I don't know what uses these inside and outside platforms. We'll find a train that does. The ones I've seen on here are all three and four. Anyhow, let's sort out the rest of its journey. We really do need some trains that are going to be stopping at some of these local stations. But I don't know how we're going to do that. This is what kind of forces our hand, doesn't it? This one. I would like you to stay on this outside. That's very nice. And on the way back. So this will be before pear tree signal. I'd like you to go via that signal, I think. Because I don't want you going opposing, if possible. There, that's neater. Does it work like that in real life? Who knows? I'm sure someone knows. It sort of works for me, though. That that does work. Okay. Now we're heading up this way. You're going to get out the way of the main trains. What platform are you supposed to? Five and six. So that This is one, two... This is really difficult because we've got bay platforms all over the shop here. I think this is representing one of the bay platforms, so it might be one, two, three, four, five. It would be over here, right? Or would it be this one? That It would be the turnaround one that this one's currently using. Good night. That's awkward. Well, I don't really want you stopping there. Maybe you can stop on four. I think five, you'll struggle. But it would make sense. Five you can do. Yes. It makes me want to put an additional crossover though. To get up to here. What trains do we currently have you you operating in here? Because we, we have... You know, actually, that sort of works, doesn't it? It keeps these two separate. Yes, you've got to go bi-directional for a bit. But it sort of works. You're going to hold up the uh, East Midlands train train. But this is not how it goes at all. It's, it's pretty much down. Well, we'll be up, up, down, down like that. Which we don't have the room for unless we unless we add an extra track in there. And we can represent that better. But that means we've got to change all of this and it would be far more confusing than it already is oh dear oh dear i kind of like us having our little tiny trains heading up onto here uh please say you're not broken no you're not broken that's fine okay that works i'll take it i'm, I'm sort of tempted to improvise though at the moment really am and make this cross over like so. Otherwise it's just awkward, isn't it? It's just really awkward. If we do something like this. That makes me feel a bit better about things down here. Although they should be going both that way. But us, I, I, I like this. Even though it doesn't exist. That makes, yes. That's going to help the traffic flow a, a lot. Which means we can have a cheeky little signal just here that's one way. I think. Not one way. We can have two way. Is it two way? Yes. Because we might need trains to head off that way. 
All right, guys. I think that's looking better. I'm going to double check all the shenanigans going on down here. It should be pretty much straightforward now. There you go. You're switching back over. Uh, we might play with this a little bit. It depends. I think we're okay, though. I think we're okay. Trains are spaced out. Although the express train keeps catching the uh, stopping train. I did, did have someone point out that I think our express and stopping train are the same length. We could maybe have this one a couple shorter. For the, uh, the five car voyages. And this one will be a seven car. Not including the locos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually eight. That's not what it is. That's just a made up train. <laughs> They're not even that long. Goodness me. I'll, I'll sort that out for us guys at some point. Shall we detail the rest of this up? Goodness me. That took a lot of work. Let's go back here. Where were we? Can anybody remember where we were? All right, we're going to finish off detailing this bridge. Here we go. And then we'll go and replace some some trucks and stuff uh, because they need to be uh, they need to be updated. And we're going to have some new ones unlocking eventually. We're also going to have new buses, so don't worry about that. We, we do have a few newer buses, which is why I like to let time progress. We're in 1972. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Kind of nice. Should we try and get this looking a bit more bridge-like and not just the standard transport fever bridge? Nothing wrong with them. I just like to make them look a little unique as much as possible. We don't want that one. We want this one. Bridge viaduct building assets. We're just going to go with the uh, standard concrete, oh, which is six, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, we'll go with the dollar concrete, which is seven. Okay, so we've got that bit in. We're going to need it quite long, aren't we? going to need it. Is it going to be length? Yes. Look, see, we've got trains going by. It's lovely. Seven? Possibly seven. Seven might work. It might need to be a bit more. Maybe not. Maybe not. We might be able to get away with this, guys. Seven. Well, I'm going to say we might. Let's see. Ten. Ten gives us a bit more to play with, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Ten it is. We're going to have to do a couple of these. So hopefully we can. Uh, well, actually, I have an idea. If we put in a bit of extra track, if we've got the room, we can use this to build off as well and then delete it. I'm actually surprised we have the room. That's amazing and brilliant. It means we could have this little sidings in if we really wanted to. But I think we're pushing our luck a bit. Okay, we're back onto these. That means we can build off this one and get it about perfect. Let's get some uh, get some special floor height. 10. 10 is probably just a touch too high. It is. I'll show you what I mean. We, we kind of... It looks lovely. I kind of like it. We're going to do something similar, by the way, guys, for trams. Have that tram effect there. We, you just raise it up a touch more and, and you have something rather nice to represent tram tracks. But anywho, we don't want that. We'll probably go one and eight and then shove it up a little bit. In fact, that's fine. That, that should be fine, given how the bridge sits. Come on. Snap onto the one underneath. Now we want about the same either side, but we're going to need to adjust the track center. It's obviously not quite. We, ideally, you would want it to go across here, but then you have a bit of an issue when you get to this part. So what we're going to do is put it in like here and then do the rest of it up, up there. Ooh, goodness me. We could maybe width, uh, get the width a bit better. Let's do the track center. D. These should be give us enough room, maybe. Are we are we happy with that, guys? D gives us a, a enough clearance, doesn't it? Either side, yes, it does. Can we do it just straight away here? Because that would be great. Maybe there. Beautiful. Right, we're in. Good. Delete this. Don't need that anymore. We're in, guys. That looks better to me. It looks more like it should be there. We've got to uh, tidy this area up. 
Now we take off the length and actually work on the width a little better, which would be about ooh, A, probably A. We're obviously going to drop the height off. And it's going to be something like 7. Do we have the... I think we have the right track centre. And we can just bring this over like that. I like it. It sort of works for me. I don't know about you guys, except that side. I forgot about the other side. I take it back. So what we're going to need to do... Ooh, how's that going to work? You're going to be doing all sorts of weirdness, aren't you? I don't think I can be lazy with this side, because otherwise we have a, a, a jutty out bit there that looks rather dangerous. There's a plane taking off in the background. So, what we could do is instead have... Can we have a straight one? That would, not that one. No, uh, there is that one. We could make that skinnier, couldn't we? Yes, we could. We could just have the width like so. That's a bit excessive. It sort of works. I mean, I don't mind it. And then we'll go with the track center a bit more aggressive. Off one side and then the other. There we go, guys. We're going to get this. It's going to be marvelous. G. There we go. Come on. Get on there. Get on. All right, if we put that in there and there, it's not going to be perfect. You're a bit high. No, I like it. I like it. It looks like it's been built that way. Now, now we've got to do the opposite, possibly. I think so. Come on. Stop dancing. Stop dancing with the, the scenery. You're dancing. <laughs> oh, dear. I got, you had it. There it is. You had it. Get that in there. That in there. And we should be good. It looks like it's supposed to be there. Oh, and now you're different. Oh, you can do it the same on both sides. There we go. Is it too flashy if we do that? No, you're not. You're beautiful. All right, let's do the same this side. It should be a bit easier, he says. Not overly confident anymore with his boot. It's been too long. That's what it's been. I used to just do this quickly. Not anymore. There we go. Although, I'm pulling it back. Get in there. One there. I mean, I guess they don't technically have to be perfect, but might as well. Do we like it? I feel like that is supposed to be there now. It looks wonderful. Excellent. Right, and then for this one... We go into JK's wonderful uh, bridge building kit just to get the, the feet on. We could actually do something similar, couldn't we? We could. We can continue to head round. In fact, we can do this one. Oh, no, just keep the same. Keep the same. Ooh, dancing. Keep the same. It, the, the problem we've got with this one is it's, it's lowering, but it doesn't matter. Right, come on, you had it. It was there. Go there. And... And there. I sort of like that, so far. We could have a part of JK's building blocky things on there. Ooh, I forgot we had these guys. You know we're putting these in, don't you? Absolutely, somewhere. They're moving as well, look. We're going to put these in some of our areas that were, would, you know, kind of not look too bad with, with them in. They're going to look awesome, aren't they? They won't look awesome there, though. That's not where we're putting them. I, I can't remember where JK's bridge buildy stuff is. It's terrible news. There it is. I can see it. I can see it. Now, are we going to be too close? We might be too close to the road, which is why I might dump this idea. Yeah, oh, you're not. That might work. I like it. It gives it a little more, doesn't it? It does indeed give it a little more. Uh, then you need the other side, don't you? Yes, you do. Then we go that side and do something similar. Does that work? Now, yes, that looks good. This one we, we, we're a bit stuck with. But the other one, 
That looks all right. Well, we could do one on one side. I like that. And then maybe we could stagger it. I don't mind it being staggered, do you? Because it sort of works like that. Yeah. Do you know what? Should we take that? Considering everything that's going on there, that doesn't look too bad at all. Beautiful. We're in, guys. We're in. I'm happy with that. They might build around here. Who knows? We'll have to let them build back. Goodness me, that took far longer than it should have done. No one ever says that when they're building a bridge, do they? No, they do not. Let's quickly jump on here and go through it. <laughs> it's like I planned it. I did not. Well, there we go, because we're going to wait at this. No, we're not, because he's on the other side. There's our bridge. We're going through it. It's cool. I like you. We're on board the cross-country train, and we have a car waiting to go across the uh, level crossing. That was nice. And we're heading to Nottingham, and it's starting to already become a thing. There's still a lot of detailing to do. But, as I always say, when you add junctions and bridges, things like that, you don't have to always add loads of fields. It, it starts to look the part. But we do have trains stopping here, so we don't have to worry about this place too much. This place, Beeston, I believe it is. For everybody losing Beeston. I did remember. This works a little better. It's not fantastic, but it does work. Does that three car fit in that little gap? Oh, it does. Look, it's beautiful. Okay, so we just have all of our stoppers using that. That works for me. And then they can cross over, and now we can get both ways from there. I don't mind them going slow around here either, because it's, uh, it's a busy junction. Who do we have waiting at Nottingham? We have people waiting for our brand new cross-country service. It's great. Where are you all going to? Four people going to Derby and one person going to Burton-upon-Trent. Maybe for a day out. Look at that one. Look at our uh, EMT, Le Leicester to Lincoln. We've got Beeston. Did someone get off? I think someone got off this train to get onto this one. Go to Beeston. East Midlands Parkway, 9, Barapon Saw, Silby and Syston. It's great. It's all coming together. We've even got someone on this one too. He's stopping. Going to Market Harbour. That's a journey. He's going from Nottingham, or she, or they, going from Nottingham all the way down there. Continuing all the way down here. The Market Harbour. Good night. That's a journey. Do we like this then? Do we like our initial junction? I'm going to say it's a winner. I don't know whether we're going to put in uh, the other cross-country service just yet. I would like to go a bit further south before we do that. That's a bad place for a boulder. Well, this is a bad place for a place because it's going to get kind of destroyed. Look at it. It's busy. Love it. There's going to be a massive place here. I'm saving all these detaily bits like uh well where we're just going up there as well the totten sidings down off this place here off this junction i want to save all those once we've got well pretty much the major network in because i at least want to finish the network before the uh before transport fever 2 drops it would be great but yeah we're going to get everything in we should we should add at least replace at least i should say all right guys to finish up we're going to stare at my junction no we're not we're going to quickly replace at least another truck on our, our list of aging vehicles you keep clicking that one when you mean that one so we've got nuneaton food delivery let's head over there it's not a million miles away is it let's head over oh it's this one of course it is we're going to have some new new vehicles on there that will get rid of another bunch of them uh, replacements. We're going to have some box trucks, aren't we? Yes, we are. Freight. Let's get some uh, some of these big box trucks on. They're in the right colour. Why isn't it food? It should be food, right? Uh, vehicles. I think that, yes, I do need to put them as, as food. Otherwise, I'll pick up random stuff as box trucks. It could be any of those. 
Let's get those on. Done. Replace now. We'll have some brand new ones of those. What else do we have? We also have Coventry Tool Delivery. Let's pick one of these. Replacements. We'll do the same with those. Freight only. Ooh, tools. I still say bo box truck central. I like that one. If we can. Yes, we can. Tools. Let's get some tools on. Okay. Replace now. There we go, guys. We have some new trucks. That will get rid of quite a few of those, won't it? All those at the top. They're all getting changed over now. And then next episode on Sunday, we'll we'll do the rest. There we go. There's our new trucks. They're looking marvellous. Our map's really coming together, isn't it? It really is. It's crazy, really. How this started. Well, we can see how it started. If we go up into this top corner, it's pretty much how it started. It looked like that. And then as you come down into Birmingham... It starts to look a little bit different, or a lot a bit different. If we hide the UI there, it's starting to look like a map view, like a Google Maps view. I love it. Great. We, we're still missing some fields. We'll get more and more of those in as we go. Personally, I don't feel fields are as important as getting the network itself in, because that's what it's all about. But uh, getting the roads in and stuff and getting some buses running, I do feel like that is important. Okay, where should we sit? Should we sit looking at the other? We always look at the business end of uh, New Street. It's only because we've got more services going in, in and out of there. But we could look at this end too. which We do have a few different trains. We'll look over the wall here. Oh, but you can see the dirt. That's a shame. Never mind. That's all right. Just here. There you go. I still need to sort these out and put some buildings in. This is where we'll end it, guys. Thank you for watching. We got in uh, a couple of junctions that I was beginning to wonder whether they would go in. Fortunately, they did, and I don't think I did too bad of a job of it. We've got to extend that further to Totten. When are we putting Totten in? I don't know. Alright guys, that's been episode 94. We are at the other end of New Street, one we don't see very often. And I'm going to leave you with a, a minute or so of the trains doing their stuff and people walking up and down the platform, which is great. And and yes, we're, we've got Totten sidings to think about at some point. We'll get the main line in first and then we'll consider working on it. In a few episodes, I'd say. I don't know. I don't I don't want to commit to it. It's a big job. Go and take a look at that on the map. T-O-T-O-N. Yes, it's huge. So, yes, that's it from me. I hope you all have a great rest of the week. It's coming up for the weekend at the very least. There's something to be excited about. So, until next time, guys, take care.